All right, so today we're going to be checking out the number one requested video on the server, which is exploring the SCP Foundation, Circusism. And this was requested by Sima Classical. Now, I've been paying a lot of attention to SCP recently. I had no idea what it was, and I'm learning more and more about it. It is fascinating. I've had several people recommend, well, uh, yeah, several people at this point recommend that I start doing videos on SCP where I just legitimately go to the wiki and hit random and then just talk about what I've learned. And that's interesting to me. Um, the level of detail some of the people put into the work for these is incredible. I love that it's community driven. And a lot of these things are legitimately creepy. So today we're going to be checking out sarcasm. Uh, what does that word mean? I don't know. You don't come here for intelligent commentary. You come here to listen to an idiot rant. In any case, let's go. Sarcasm. Oh, good lord, I'm ready for this now. Let's see, what do we got here? Uh, down here on the left, we have Slanesh. 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 Cinch. Slanesh. Straightjacket. Yeah. The nature of belief and faith is certainly a powerful one, regardless of the concept of a deity or deities. But even just looking at the power, control, and influence that believers can possess, from the widespread influence of the Vatican to the utter control of a small cult leader, faith has been a prominent aspect of our species for thousands of years. Very true. We've already looked at one religion in the SCP universe, the Church of the Broken God. Have not seen that. But now we'll discuss their counterpart, the Sarkic cults. Sarkicism is another very large topic within the SCP universe, and this would be a very long video if I tried to cover it all. So let's just try and get a good idea of what Sarkicism is, and why it has its followers. Okay. Sark means flesh in ancient Greek, which summarizes the overall belief system of the Sarkites, which is diametrically opposed to the Church of the Broken God's theology based on technology. In fact, most Sarkites don't actually refer to themselves using the term Sarkic, as the term was an insult created by the Church of the Broken God's predecessors. That is not to overemphasize the Sarkite's opinion of the Church, as it is believed that while the Church views the Sarkites as a sort of biblical foe, the Sarkites seem to view the church as simply another obstacle. Hmm. The Sarkic cults are generally divided into two different factions that operate in vastly different ways, but follow mostly the same set of beliefs. The proto-Sarkic cults are those found in small, isolated communities across Europe and Asia. These communities are usually poor, superstitious, technophobic, and generally hostile to any outsiders. The neo sarkic cults, on the other hand, are found in much more urban environments and can be difficult to differentiate from other wealthy city dwellers. They are usually upper class, coming from affluent families, and with no apparent objections to technology and modern life. Both cults, however, believe that one of the main concepts of sarkicism is that one can achieve apotheosis, that is, becoming a god. Lovely. It's generally accepted that Grand Carcist Eon, the founder and prophet of the Sarkic cults, did become a god through some sort of interaction with the primordial goddess, Yaldabaoth. Proto-Sarkites believe that in time, Eon will eventually provide them with god- So, I thought I had a handle on this stuff, I thought I had the basic idea, but now, um... Well, that's over. Godhood. And neo sarkites believe that it must be obtained through willpower, and they must one day usurp Eon. This will to power concept is prevalent in neo sarkites and a common proverb says to do as you will to whom you will, as desire is the measure of all things. Both cults believe in the idea of sacrifice, but here they differ greatly as proto-Sarkites believe in the sacrifice of oneself for the benefit of the many, and neo-Sarkites instead believe in the sacrifice of the many for the benefit of oneself. 
either way, belief in cycles of destruction and regeneration is paramount to the Sarkic faith. Both cults often practice ritual cannibalism, human sacrifice, the worship and spread of contagions, and bodily augmentation. No. Grand Carcist Eon. Why do you guys get me to watch this shit when I'm getting ready to go to sleep? Ah, oh, this is exactly what I need to think about when I'm laying down. Exactly what I need to think about. Oh my god. I've never seen this art before, but I love it. It's disturbing. Founded the Sarkic cults nearly 4,000 years ago, okay. somewhere in western Siberia. The Sarkic timeline is muddy, even their recent history, but it's believed that Eon was born to a Davite mother and a slave father, as the Davites referred to him as a half-breed. What is Eon? Eon was a slave for much of his youth in the city-state of Aditum, possibly serving under an alchemist or priestess, until he led a slave revolt against the Davites. During this time, Eon demonstrated great power over organic flesh, both his own and others. Examples of this include transforming his hand into some sort of wolf jaw, capable of ripping through a metal jail cell, this is disturbing. forcing others to act against their will, such as causing men to throw themselves on their spears, and could also gift these powers and other physical augmentations onto his followers. During this revolt, Eon was aided by four disciples, known as the Clavigar in the Sarkic faith, who would go on to be essentially saints. Okay. It's unclear how exactly Eon gained his abilities, but it somehow involves Yaldabaoth, a god or goddess believed by the Sarkites to be responsible for creating the universe, possibly through the process of giving birth to other gods, and then devouring them and exhaling the remains. Neo-Sarkites revere this god. What is it with, like, ancient religions and a mother devouring her children? God. But proto sarkites seem to regard it as the enemy of all living things. Yaldabaoth is also joined by six other entities, known as Archons, which are described as manifestations of primordial chaos. It's Wonderful. said that Eon endured six trials given by the Archons, which allowed him to break free from the bondage of mortal limitations. In one text, Eon claims to have murdered death herself, and read the entrails of the creator. That's creepy. Regardless of how Eon managed to become godlike, his slave revolt conquered the Davites, forcing them to recede, and the Sarkites built a number of cities, largely composed of organic material. The Sarkic civilization experienced its golden age and spread across Eurasia, with their capital being the converted kingdom of Aditum. Their civilization eventually spread into the Mediterranean, establishing a foothold here and colonizing the various islands. It was here where they would encounter the real resistance, however, as the Mechanites, the precursors to the Church of the Broken God, would rise up against them alongside other civilizations. This massive war involved anomalous technology, huge colossi, monstrous abominations, what kind of Slaneshi bullshit am I looking at here? Zinch or Slaneshi, it's not Nurgle. I don't know what the hell I'm looking at here. And 20 to 30 million casualties. The war ended with really no winners, as the Sarkic Empire broke apart and went into hiding, leading to a division in culture and theology. The Mechanites dwindled and eventually became the Church of the Broken God. And the devastation led to the collapse of the Bronze Age. Okay, so I was sitting there right now trying to figure out, you know, because I have been... One thing I've liked about SCP is it keeps kind of a, um, you know, here's the real world, we're here, here's SCP, and SCP is happening here, but you're never supposed to know about it. You're never supposed to know about it. So I was getting kind of worried about this, like, is this too much of a departure from this? Is this, like, completely separate? But the Bronze Age collapse, the loss of information, I can dig it. Sarcasism would continue to live on in small communities throughout Eurasia, 
and their belief systems would slowly differ. At this point, it's completely unknown what happened to Grand Carcist Eon, and the Foundation is currently not even sure if he ever existed at all. Eventually, certain Sarkites would become intertwined with some noble courts, acting as advisors or court magicians, teaching the lords and ladies about alchemy, astrology, and the occult, while spreading belief in Sarkicism. These courts would become Sarkic great houses, practitioners of Neo-Sarkicism that follow their own interpretation of the religion. Both Proto-Sarkites and Neo-Sarkites would maintain their numbers through generations of inbreeding, avoiding genetic defects through Sarkic rituals, and Sarkites have shown vastly lower mortality rates compared to normal population. I, I really didn't need to know that a lot of the a lot of the creatures in SCP and the and some people were engaging in Oni Chan kind of fetishism. Both groups also adhere to a strong belief in secrecy, whether through mistrust or necessity, and so Sarkicism is largely unknown to the wide world. So, most Sarkites present that? a dangerous threat to the current world order, as the Foundation considers their speculated goals to be fairly apocalyptic in nature. Although not all Sarkites are dangerous, such as SCP-2815, a village of inbreds that give out human flesh disguised as fruit that for some reason is safe to eat. What? They also donate organs and blood grown from a tree to local hospitals. Sadly, however, these benign examples are few and far- What the fuck is that? Is, is that Gene Simmons in his final form? Between, and we're left mostly with highly anomalous and dangerous entities. I would be doing many of these SCPs a disservice by only quickly summarizing them here instead of giving them their own videos, but I'll provide a few examples. SCP-2480 is one of the more notable ones, a dimensional anomaly located in a town in Massachusetts. The anomaly is causing Sarkite monstrosities to bleed into our reality, either from another dimension or another timeline. Yay. The GOC and the Foundation are currently working together to contain the situation, but this is connected with another SCP located in Romania, SCP-2191. Here a massive entity spread across hundreds of thousands of square kilometers of tunnels, believed to be a concubine of Grand Carcist Eon. This entity is fed liquefied human remains, provided to it by a species of mutated, vampiric humans. Why can't some of you bastards just be like normal people and just eat zebra cakes and, you know, oatmeal pies and moon pies and shit like that? You always gotta be to eating the nastiest shit you can come up with. Just babies and blenders and bullshit, you assholes. It's also appeased by locals who provide human sacrifices to Why? minimize seismic activity. Seismic SCP activity? SCP-2133 is a proto sarkic commune in Russia whose inhabitants are reincarnated whenever they die, possessing all of their past memories and appearance. They deposit their turnip harvests and any gangrenous limbs or tumorous growths in the church every evening. And the village is also filled with dark red tentacles that attack any outsiders entering the church. That's wonderful. Beneath the church is an expansive series of tunnels and caverns, where there seems to be thousands of entities growing in eggs. It's the goddamn xenomorphs. It's the goddamn xenomorphs from fucking Alien. Jesus Christ. As well as a temple devoted to a carcist. A what? There is possibly a strong connection between SCP-2133 and SCP-6. This is Zinchian level bullshit right here. This is flesh change. 10, the flesh that hates. Oh, I've... I've already made a video covering 610, which Sarkites refer to as the Red Death, and it's believed that this is the Sarkites' ultimate weapon in reshaping the world. Massive Sarkic organisms containing human DNA are... This is so wrong on so many different levels.
that is ridiculously wrong on so many, 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 many levels. Are believed to have battled the captured Colossus, SCP-2406, during the war between the Sarkites and the Mechanites. Another large organism was used as a Sarkic temple in their Golden Age, SCP-2095, but eventually was conquered during the war and died. SCP-2075 is a Karsist that was captured by the Foundation, but easily broke containment when it revealed that they had only captured one small aspect of itself, along with two of the security personnel assigned to the SCP. Okay, Trey's in the infinite. The doctor in charge was stabbed with an anomalous dagger, which seemed to transform him into a large amorphous mass of flesh and bone. This is ancient bullshit, right? Oh my god, why? It ha look at this. It has little eyes. Look at this. It's got that little mouth, a little eye right here, a little eye right here. Like, why? Which proceeded to kill 56 personnel before dying. Damn! Finally, there is SCP-2510, an important anomaly related to both the Church of the Broken God and the Sarkic cults. 2510 is a larger machine, and part of it has been made into a trans-dimensional gateway. Oh, yay. The first people reported to have gone through the gateway, in 1940, were said to have found a machine city. The gateway destination can be controlled, and the Foundation sent a team to multiple dimensions, all variations of Earth. There's too much oh, here to really boy. go into detail, but to summarize, these dimensions were each one where the war between the Sarkic cults and the rest of humanity came to a climax. In one of them, parts of the Broken God were fashioned into an unimaginable weapon that wiped out every trace of life from the planet. That's great. In others, the Sarkic forces went out, and Yaldaboth broke free from its cage, driving the world to a horrific apocalypse. Why? In another reality, however, humanity banded together and achieved a technological singularity, uniting to defeat the Sarkites. The lesson to be learned from this anomaly is that if humanity doesn't work together and embrace the Church of the Broken God's ideology, the Sarkic cults will win. Since there's really no canon, however, this is just one perspective. Okay. So, this should have provided a good jumping off point to continue learning about Sarkicism as it's continually expanded. In the majority of cases, it's very easy to look at the Sarkic cults as nothing more than threats to humanity. And that seems to be the general consensus for most of the community. If things like this are, ca are caused by, our, by them, yes, I think they're threats. While some might boil down the conflict between the Broken God Church and the Sarkites to just good versus evil, good fiction is rarely as simple as that. Right. Regardless, Sarkicism and its anomalies are a very interesting blend of religion, folklore, occult... Why don't you sons of bitches send Wally to take a look at this thing? That ain't right. Wally didn't do too shit to you. Cultism and body horror. And to his flock, I am thus spoke, I have stepped beyond the flow of dreams, stood before the old ones within their own desolate domain, I have endured their intolerable force across countless eons, I have seen infinite death worlds murder death herself, I have read the entrails of our creator, beheld eternity unfurled, know that our paradise draws near, and with our own flesh we shall birth it. And no. I don't like you. No. Oh, man. So, I'm being exposed to more and more. Um, more and more of the creators for SCP. And I gotta say, this is the second one from the Exploring series that I've seen. And I really am enjoying this one. I really am enjoying this one. The Volgan, I like his presentation. But I like the way that he's doing his videos. Because I didn't even know this existed. I would have been better off not knowing it existed. Thank you very much for, you know, getting this to me right before I go to sleep. This is wonderful. 
In any case, all the Exploring Series uh, links are going to be in the description down below, as well as my own. I hope you guys are having a good day. I am going to be checking out one more thing, and then I am going to sleep, because I am beyond tired. I didn't get a lot of sleep last night. I really didn't. Um, I think I got a grand total of two hours, and the rest of the time I was laying in bed just, like, hating myself because I couldn't get to sleep. So sleeping tonight is not going to be a problem. So, that being said, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. I really, really do. Uh, thank you for this recommendation. And thank every one of you that comes your option to the Discord to make a recommendation. It really does, you know, it, for me, I have people telling me I should shut the Request Reaction channel down temporarily until I can get a lot more stuff done. I really, really don't want to do that. Um, so, if you want to see something, jump on into the Discord. Go to the Request Reaction channel and uh, see if there's something that's been there that's been requested that you might want to see. And just pop it a vote. And um, if I get a chance, I will take a look at it. Until next time, guys, I'll see you then.